Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to export bulk data from Oracle Fusion ERP Cloud in which we had considered the example of exporting payable invoices and we had seen how to create two integration. One is a scheduled integration and another one is an app driven callback integration exposed over SOAP or HTTPS protocol. Made use of SOAP service that is ERP integration and pulled the document from UCM server. In this video, we are going to learn the method to on how to export bulk data from Fusion ERP Cloud. Here also we are going to consider the example of payable invoices. The difference between method 1 and method 2 is in case of callback integration, here we are not passing the callback URL of this integration in the scheduled integration when we make a call to export bulk data. In this we had passed the URL of this integration we'll calling export bulk data operation. In this case we won't be passing but we will be making use of events over here and subscribe to ERP integration outboard event and we will track payable transactions extract events. And also we will make use of ERP adapter and use the operation get documents for file prefix in order to pull the file from our UCM server. I have created two integrations already for the method 2 approach. Let me open the first one that is schedule integration. As discussed in method 1, this approach is similar to method 1. The only difference over here is in the mapping. Here we are not passing this callback URL when we make a call to export bulk data and in job options we are saying enable event Y as we are interested in event on completion of this job. And also the notification code I am giving 30. Uh, in detail I have explained what does this 30 mean that is 3 means email and bell notification that is on any case. That's it for job name and parameter I had shown you in my previous video how to get that. That is under manage enterprise scheduler job definition and job set for financial and SCM. Here you will get the path for this uh, payable transaction uh, what I have provided over here and the parameter list. Parameter list uh, you will find uh, at the bottom. Based on that you can fill the parameter list while calling the export bulk data operation. Also you can go to your scheduled processes in that if there is any export bulk data process triggered in that also you can get the parameter list. Also as discussed in my previous video you can refer this documentation and there are few use cases you can download and also there are uh, steps mentioned how you can get the path parameters and the job definition name over here. Uh, that's it with the mapping. I'm closing this mapper. Now we'll go to our next integration that is a callback integration where we are subscribing to our event. I open this callback integration that is test2 which I have built for the method 2 uh, use case. Let me open this trigger wizard which I have created with the help of ERP adapter. For more details you can refer this documentation by Oracle on how to create ERP cloud adapter for trigger mode and invoke mode. I will provide the link in my blog. Please check out the link for more details. Here under request, we have to select this ERP integration outbound events. First of all, the purpose of this event is we have to receive business events raised within ERP cloud. That is on the job completion of export bulk data that we had assigned event flag to Y. Okay, whenever it, we have enabled event flag to Y, ERP cloud will raise an event on job completion. We are only interested in getting payable transactions extract job on completion events. For that, I have written this xpath expression okay this is the xpath now how you can arrive at this xpath is uh, this is the sample request with which erp cloud will raise an event and invoke our oic integration here what we have to do is first we have to provide the namespace namespace of xml elements with which they are tagged here all the elements are attached with ns0 that is nothing but this namespace i have copied here the namespace first i have copied the namespace here that is xpath expression and the namespace and this is the ending tag for xpath x. Now we have to write event payload. This is the default variable when we write this xpath expression. Then first these two elements we need to escape. This will be attached with event payload only. So the next element is jobs. Under jobs there is a child. Under child there is a request id. Okay and there is a job name. Now we are interested in job name. So we are only filtering payable transaction extracts export on job completion events only. So that I am checking over here. If this event is for payable transaction extracts then only I want this integration to receive the event. Click on next. Response I don't want to send any response back. Click on close. Next thing is we have to pull the document from our UCM server. Here I have made use of ERP adapter unlike in our method one where we had used the SOAP service for that. Here select a service ERP integration service. In actions we have to select this query update delete information. So here under operation you will have option for get documents for file prefix. This I have used. If you are getting the document ID 
in the request then you can go ahead in my case i'm not getting the document id so i'm using another approach to download a file if you have this document id in uh, in the request then you can make use of get document by document id that will also work click on next and that's it this wizard will be completed now coming to the mapping mapping will be exactly same like how we had seen in our previous case that is we have to form a string that is by concatenating ess underscore and the request id what we get so this request id uh, is from the previous export bulk data job not this request id okay so it will be under here so we have to always uh, map this request id which will be the request id for export bulk data operation which we invoke from our scheduled integration so that underscore bip repeat zero under accounts fin payable exports account and comment like processed by this request id that's it with this close in this case i am considering writing the file to ftp directory here the catch is we are not getting the file reference we are getting the base ht4 content of file so at the time of writing this file what you have to do is we have to make use of this decode base ht4 to reference and then we have to put the value of content over here and write in soap operation that content reference will refer to the file in the header that is we get by enabling the mtom for more details you can read the documentation for mdom for soap services that's it with this integration let me test this integration now to test this integration i will run this scheduled integration i have submitted the integration and there is a tracking id let me go to that and track as you could see our bulk extract test 0 to integration has completed successfully it has initiated the request for bulk payable transaction export and we have got the process id if you want you can go to scheduled processes in future erp and check the status so we'll not do that over here in this video for more details on how to do this i have already covered this in my previous videos please check out those videos it will be available under under fusion playlist and pause the video for a couple of minutes so that erp complete the job of extraction and call our callback integration so this has called our uh, test to integration as an event over here in our scheduled integration we had not passed the callback integration but still erp called this uh, integration as an event so whenever there is an event raised by erp so this integration will subscribe to that and also it has caught only that payable transaction extract event it will not catch any other events as you could see from here this is the condition what i had given i am just interested in payable transaction extract this is again the job name uh, what you can find in your manage scheduler job definitions this is the same thing uh, this is the request id of our scheduled integration export bulk data job which it has raised when it retrieves the data it will come as base 64 as i discussed at the time of building this integration you cannot expect the data to be uh, greater than 10 mb when you receive if you are looking for uh, larger file data it's better to go for that soap operation and uh, use that mtom feature available okay once we get the content in base 64 we are converting to reference and writing to file to ftp server so like this we had seen two methods how we can extract the data from erp cloud in bulk with the two approaches with the help of erp adapter and as well as with the soap service thank you for joining us in video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video